Hey guys, welcome to Windy Studio. And yes, it's time for another Photoshop tutorial. And it's been a while that I haven't uploaded any video. And thank you for sending all the messages and the inquiry about why I'm not uploading any videos. Uh, actually, I've been working on a 3D project. And especially if you're a designer, it's always better to learn about some kind of 3D aspects because it's always open a new perspective in your design. And I'm not a pro, but still, if you want to learn something about how to integrate the 3D object into your design, just comment me down on the bottom. I'll try to make some um, tutorial on it. So with that note, let's submit the tutorial. Let's create a new work on. For that, go to File, click on New, and I'll just create like six by four inch. Click on Create. Oh, maybe just let's rotate it. Uh, image, image rotation. Maybe. Okay. Now let's uh, drag and drop this image over here. Let's make it a little smaller. So for that, Control T. Let's make it do something like that. All right. Now let's fill the background color with something like this color. Alt Backspace. And now let's create a shape layer. Go to shape. I don't need a stroke. And for the fill. I'll just do something like this color. Maybe like this. All right. Control T. Let's squeeze down a little bit. Let's make this image a little bigger. Control T. Alright, I think like this look good to me. Now select on this rectangle layer holding Alt and click to make a selection. And go to layer one, create a layer max. And after that click on layer max, go to brush. And let's change the brush hardness 100% and make sure the color is white and let's reveal these parts and this part. Maybe only this part. Alright. Now let's create one more rectangle. Maybe somewhere over here. little down all right now let's drag and drop this image over here right click create clipping max control T let's make it a bigger and let's feel this is this Let's change the rectangular color, maybe something like dark color, and let's drop down the opacity. Maybe somewhere over here. Alright, now let's drag and drop this image over here. Edit, free transform, let's rotate here. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's put it somewhere over here. Select all there. Let's move it a little bit up. Alright. 
Now let's duplicate this layer. Control J to make a copy. And let's put it all the way to the up. Go over here. Apply stroke. And let's stroke color to white and the size to three. Alright. Now let's change the fill to zero. And right click and click on Restorize Layer Style. Click on Layer Max, go to Brush. Uh, I would like to get rid of. Make sure the color is black. And let's add some kind of. design maybe something like this all right let's bring it to the bottom again and again create a rectangle tool maybe something like this change the direction let's bring it somewhere over here all right and same thing go over here apply stroke and let's change the field to zero I'll just bring it all the way to the bottom. Now let's make a copy. Control J. Control T. Let's bring it somewhere over here. Uh, right. Yeah, I want to get rid of these parts. So for that. Again, same thing. Select this rectangle, right click, rasterize layer style, click on layer max, go to brush, make sure the color is black, and just get rid of this part. And again, let's make a copy, control J. T. Let's bring it somewhere over here. And let's remove the stroke and let's increase the fill. And let's change the color to something like a little dark, lighter than this. All right. Uh, same thing, Control J, Control T. Let's move it on this side. All right, again, make a copy, Control J, Control T. Let's move it somewhere over here. Let's bring it all the way to the bottom and let's change the opacity. And let's change the feel to a little darker too. And let's just squeeze down this one a little smaller somewhere over here. Now let's add some text. Let's make it a little smaller. Change the color to white. Just 
against the fondue. Regular. This layer, control Z to make a copy. Control T, let's bring it somewhere over here. So select this layer, go to brush, and make sure the color is black. Alright now. Alright. Let's add some text again. This part and then this reveal. Let's add some element uh, and again the same thing. I'll just copy, make a copy of this stroke layer. Control J, Control T. Let's move it. Over here again, okay, let's get rid of this part. And let's add some more text. Protein, let's rotate it. somewhere over here and let's change the color to white all right now let's add some more text over here to the bottom all right now let's add some text again let's move it above it and let's change 
the font size. Let's add some particle effects. So for that, create a new layer. Go to brush. And I'm going to use my particle brush. And if you want to use the same brush, check on the description list below. So click on this brush. And let's change the color to white. One more layer. Let's add one more over here too. All right, now let's do some color adjustment. So select on this layer, go to filter, go to camera raw filter, and from here let's increase the clarity. Increase the shadows, decrease the highlights, increase vibrance, and go to color mixer and increase the orange somewhere over here. Drop down the yellow and from hue and saturation, this change the orange a little darker. And increase the saturation for blue and again change the hue up to something like this. Now go to the detail tab, increase the noise reduction and increase the sharpening. Alright, now same thing, set on this layer, go to filter, just apply the same filter setting. Alright, now let's do a final touch up with my color LUT. So click over here, go to color lookup table. From here, click on load and just use the mood LUT. Select and click on load. See how easily we can achieve this really nice effect. And we can add some effects. So for that, click on new layer, go to brush and Change the brush hardness to 100% and from here choose the same color, maybe something like this. It's just like click and drag. So it's up to you like if you want to play around with it. You can play with it and again we can add some more stroke effect so select this layer ctrl j to make a copy ctrl t and we can add some more somewhere over here same thing click on near max go to brush and let's get rid of this part and maybe this part too so all right that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video